Yo, what's going on, everybody? Slice off from MaddenDilly.com, and thank you all for giving us 300 plus likes on our past Madden Tip Tuesday video. And because of that, we're going to be breaking down a Madden Tip Thursday special tip for you guys tonight. What we're going to be breaking down is how to lock down C routes and corner routes in zone. Specifically, when your opponent tries to flood our zones and hitting the deep sidelines with corner routes or C routes, we're going to show you how to lock that down. Now, any stock zone coverage that you pick, you're going to get carved by either a corner or C route, depending on their route combos. Either they're doing a flat corner fade or street combo, or a flat corner post combo, or even a flat fade or streak and then C route combo. That's going to get the C route or corner route open against cover two zone, cover three zone, and even cover four zone. Here I'm just showing you examples of different type of plays of getting these sideline passes open because you have a flat route that's going to bring the flat zone down, a deep route that brings the deep blue zones to it, leaving the corner or C route open. Corner routes and C routes get around 15 to 20 yards. So it's one of the best routes to go to you on third and fourth and long. I'm sure you guys have gotten carved up by these route combos. Well, we're going to show you how to lock that down. You could use any type of cover two, but the play we're going to break down in this video, one of our favorite cover twos in Madden 16 is 3-4 odd pinch dog to press. The reason why we use this play is because we know how to stop the inside zone with it. We have FB dive D with it, toss D with it, and we could blitz out of it. So just naturally being in it and adjusting, is what we like to use with this play, but you can use any cover two zone in the game. We're gonna show you the adjustments that we make, but first I wanna show you that if you don't make any adjustments, the reason why you're getting carved is because the flat zone to the corner can only guard either the flat route or the corner route in these type of plays. Whichever one he doesn't guard is the one you could hit for a solid gain. So how do you prevent this? You need someone that's gonna guard the flat route someone that's going to guard the corner route, and someone that's going to guard the deep route in any of these route combos. So what we're going to do is call a cover two zone, and we're going to take the corner back on the side that has a lot of receivers. So on the right side is the trip side. We're going to put them in a yellow hook zone. We're then going to put a outside linebacker on the same side in a flat zone. Finally, if you want, you could spy one of your defensive ends. That way, if your opponent rolls out, we could uh, blitz the spy by pressing the right analog stick down, plus you have a three-man rush. That's why we like this pinch dog two press, because after making these adjustments, you still have a solid pass rush. Now, the reason why this works is because the flat zone is going to play the flat route. The yellow zone to the corner is going to first play the streak or post, depending on the route combo, and then is going to guard the corner. Now, your opponent, when making this read, is going to assume that that's a deep blue zone. And they're going to throw this pass to the corner. Tons of times when doing this adjustment, I've had my opponents try to make this throw. And a lot of the times, I get the interception. Now, it's not guaranteed you're going to get an interception, but that yellow hook zone will be in the area of both the corner route or C route, depending on what your opponent's doing as far as a route combo. You see right there, the yellow hook zone to the corner was kind of playing like a deep blue zone. He was backing up to the post. And it looks like we could throw a bullet pass to the outside to the corner but then the hook zone just bites down and gets the interception. Again, you're not going to always get a pick with this, but at least the guy will be in the area. Um, a lot of the times, if the receiver gets his hands on it, we're going to make him drop it with this adjustment. Now, here's a regular cover two zone at a 3-4 odd. You see that the hook zones are a little bit different, but we're still doing the same adjustment, flatting the right of screen outside linebacker, hooking the corner on the right, and he's going to be in that area. He might not pick it every time, but it will help lock this down. Now, if your opponent has the trip side on the left, we would flat the left outside linebacker, hook zone the left corner, and then if you want, spy one of the defensive ends. You still have a three-man rush with this pinch dog two press, and you're going to lock down that right-sided flood. We didn't get the pick this time. They were able to make a catch, but on the very next play, again, we're running a flip to the left, doing the adjustments now to stop the left side. We are going to get a pick, and that was against the same flat corner post combo, which works just like a flat corner fade combo, which works just like a flat fade C route combo. Either way, your opponent's trying to flood the zone to get the corner route or C route open, depending on what play they're in. They're trying to flood that zone, but this adjustment is going to prevent that, I would say about 75% of the time, which is pretty successful. Um, if you notice that just base aligning 
and putting that hook zone to the corner isn't working, you could try base aligning plus press coverage. The corner is going to play a little bit more down since you're playing press. So the hook zone will kind of play a little bit more aggressive, aggressively than they typically would. But either way should work. Um, the reason why we don't like to press is because we don't want to give a tell that it is a cover two zone. We want our opponent to think that that's a cover four or a deep blue zone to the corner. And they, I want them to throw that pass to the corner because a very high percentage, you're either going to get a pick or a drop pass. With cover two zones, once it gets to a third and long and a fourth and long, instead of leaving the isolated side on a flat zone, we'll put that corner in a yellow too. Just in case our opponent tries to hit us with a C route on that side to the isolated guy, at least he'll guard it. So um, we're not going to be as worried with flat routes. We're more so worried about C routes, out routes, I mean, small routed out routes, curl routes, things of that nature where they're deeper. And that's when it's like fourth and 14, third and 15, third and 13, where if they do hit us in the flats, they'll get five, six yards. But they're either going to bring it to fourth down or they're going to get a turnover on down. So this is when our opponent's looking to hit us kind of deep. And you see that that base aligned hook zone to the corner, even on the isolated receiver side, does a heck of a job on C routes, not just corner routes. This is going to work well with any of those deep sideline passes, smart routed out routes, curl routes, comeback routes, anything like that where we're giving up the flat on that isolated side. On the strong side, though, we're still going to keep the flat zone there just to make sure we have that whole flooded side covered. This is really going to help stopping the sidelines with your zone coverage and a lot of people like to attack the sidelines. Um, it's not really going to help with the seams, so you still have to worry about watching for four verticals and stuff like that. But if you are expecting a flood of some sort to a corner route or a C route, this is the setup that you guys should do. You can do this out of any formation. It doesn't have to be 3-4. It doesn't have to be this play. It can be 4-3. It can be nickel. You just want to make sure a outside linebacker or a nickel back is in a flat zone and the corner on the side that you're trying to stop the corner route and C route is in a hook zone. Thank you guys for tuning in. If you enjoyed this tip, please smash that like button. Subscribe if you're new. And if you want more Madden 16 tips and you can't wait for next Tuesday, check out our website, maddendaily.com. With our premium membership, we post three to four elite pro tips every single week. The best Madden 16 tips on the internet. Enjoy, guys. Until next time, it's lights. Later.